A Baldwin County man accused of killing his parents in front of his four year old daughter made his first appearance before a judge today. Prosecutors argue 25 year old Trinell Brown has no business being out on the streets as they prepare to take him to trial. NBC 15's Darren Singleton has our story. 25 year old Trinell Brown was led into the Baldwin County Courthouse where prosecutors were prepared to argue against allowing him to be released on bond. And once inside, they made their argument clear. Brown, they say, is a dangerous man. He's someone who is capable of the acts that occurred um, back on Saturday. Uh, someone like that is absolutely a danger to the community. Those acts, say sheriff's deputies, stem from a family argument that turned deadly. Brown is accused of capital murder, of using an AR-15 to shoot and kill both of his parents, 52-year-old Clemmy Brown and his wife, 42-year-old Soretta. At this point in time, the evidence uh, showing that they were at their home and uh, that there was no inclination that something of this nature was going to happen. We heard it was an AR-15 used. Do you have any idea whose gun it was at this point? Um, uh, at this point in time, uh, I can't say. Working in the prosecution's favor, confessions from Brown himself shortly after the shooting, both to investigators and in a 911 call, a fact that emerged during today's bond hearing. A neighbor tells NBC 15 News he saw Brown standing in the front doorway of the house on McFarland Drive, talking on the phone just moments after shots were fired. Prosecutors also acknowledge someone saw it happen. A four-year-old believed to be Brown's own daughter. Could she be a witness? Obviously, we don't want to re-victimize somebody who's been a witness to, to things of this nature, but um, and that's something we'll have to take into consideration down the road. In the end, the judge denied Brown bond and sent him back to jail, as one more nagging question remains. Why? It's hard to tell at this point, and sometimes um, you don't have a good reason why things happen. No, no act like this is rational. Tyler Goodwin and Kyle Henderson have been appointed to represent Brown, but neither was willing to make an on-camera statement after today's hearing. But Goodwin did give me this handwritten statement after the court hearing about his clients, which reads, Our prayers are with those grieving the loss of the Browns. We've not had a chance to thoroughly investigate these allegations, but Trinell is presumed innocent and we intend to vigorously defend this young man against the charges the government has brought against him. In Bay Manette, Darwin Singleton, NBC 15 News. More details about the case could come out during Trinnell Brown's preliminary hearing set for April 10th. Meanwhile, prosecutors say his four-year-old daughter is in the care of a family member.